Yo, what's going on? Jeremy see back in the video, and today we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, still in the gaming aspect, but it's kind of just a little different. Now, basically, we're just gonna be talking about uh, 2K25 and why I think it's gonna be a bust, like 2K24 and 2K23 and 22. That's about it. Now, in this video, we'll go over the leaked news. We'll go over the not leak news this is what 2k already brought out we'll go over the trailer that or the trailer that they dropped and we'll just go over all of that but before we get started please like share subscribe turn on post notifications be notified every time i post and follow the socials down right here all right without further ado let's get into it man now if you all know already uh 2k25 is set to drop september 5th or 7th i believe i'll put it inside the video but it drops this fall or rather this summer kind of it, depending on what you consider summer or not so it's dropping and we've got no trailer well we got this what if he listened to the doubters what if she wasn't obsessed with the win? What if they never made the cover of 2K? Guess we'll never know. If you guys consider that a trailer, then no. The first 2K that they, okay. Let me, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack real quick. Okay. So they dropped the pre-order. Right now, PlayStation, Xbox, I believe anything it is able is available for a pre-order. Right now, here's the problem with that. They don't have a trailer for the game, right? Like they dropped the pre-order multiple editions because of, of what? So they just expect people to buy it and people are buying it without even looking at the gameplay first. And like regular 2K logic, let's be honest people like people people are just buying it bro people are buying it because 2k knows that they're just gonna buy the game anyway you feel me not i not I. i'm not doing that no not until i say gameplay first this is what i hate about 2k bro like low key i've been playing 2k since 2k 13 bro 2k 12 i really don't remember when i got the game but i know it was around 2k 12 to 2k 13 and after 2k 22 i'd say or matter of fact, after 2K21, I see that they just, they, their energy just has not been there. If you guys see the difference between 23 and 24, I'm telling, and this is just next gen, by the way. I'm not even talking about current gen. If you look at next gen specifically, you'll see that there's not much of a difference. Like I play 23 next gen, I play 24 current uh, next gen as well. I just have to see like I do videos on it, but they they're not it's like 2k 23.5 like 2k 24 is not what it had needed to be so i'm already predicting that 25 is not is not gonna you know be good either now according to 2k 25 news and intel twitter account they are saying that the neighborhood is the or the city is back for one um clearly they don't listen to their community at all because we all and i speak for all of us when we say we don't want the city ever again think of 20 2k 20 peak great you feel me COVID, it was great now look we had a neighborhood everything was great 2k 20 was amazing bro even i ain't gonna lie even the boat even even the boat was all right bro even the boat was all right the city this is where it's like becoming a problem you feel me and now they have the city back so hope you guys like that now i'm not saying this to like bash on 2k or even say that 2k25 is going to be garbage even though uh, i think it is it's just when you've played the game for this long and you see how every single game it progressively just becomes worse not including 16 to 17 or 19 because those were great years we're not we're not going to talk about 2k18 2k18 doesn't even count right but if we just consider those 20 21 sort of a little bit that's that's when the downfall started happening but it wasn't a bad game actually if you guys haven't seen uh here is 2k25 cover of the game 
uh there's actually two covers i believe no three covers there's one vince carter one tatum and one with a WNBA player that i can't remember her name right no disrespect i just can't remember her name the vince carter edition or the vince carter cover is the only cover that remotely looks good only cover the 2k25 cover sucks it sucks it is completely garbage it's like they put little snow i'm pretty sure if i could i could create that exact same cover on photoshop i i, I genuinely not even trying to cap i genuinely think i could now if you guys follow the mb2k uh twitter account you guys to see like they drop like certain pictures of like people or rather the nba players in the game and I'm not sure if, the, if that if that was supposed to impress us, cause it's it's the same thing every year. They add a couple sweat droplets, change the face scan a little bit to fit how the player looks like now, and they they call it a day, because the graphics can't. I don't even fault them for that, because the graphics remotely, it's really hard to improve from here. This is pretty much as realistic as it's gonna get. Here's on the more pressing matters. Let's go back to the pre-order. Okay, so there's four editions. There's a standard edition, WNBA edition, All-Star edition, and Hall of Fame edition, right? And on 2K, on, rather, my fault, on Twitter, they released the photo of what you get for the pre-order and what every, you know, edition of the game gets you. And here's why I have a problem, Matt, right? So... <clears throat> The pre-order bonus is only 5,000 VC. I don't know who 2K thinks we are. I don't know. What are, what are you doing with 5,000 VC? What are you doing? Say if you buy the regular edition, right? The standard edition. You get 5,000 VC just for doing that. That's it. That's it. And you get a couple like trendsetter rewards. That's not even important. I'll show it on the screen, obviously. But what's the what's the thing you know what i mean like supposedly we're supposed to pre-order something that we've never even seen before right and now the rewards for pre-ordering it 5000 vc which can get you a high five and a handshake you for maybe 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 a dap up and that's maybe a dap up it's not even you for me all that now i don't necessarily want to make this like a rant session you for me i just wanted to give you guys my take on why I think 2K25 is gonna be a bust. Uh, so once again, this is all not to, you know, the you know like hurt 2K. You know what I mean? Like, don't ban me or whatever. But like, we have to consider every possibility being that 23 was a bust. 24 sucks. I still play 24 barely i don't remember the last time i got on 24 but i've played it uh what else is there seasons are back once again i never really got the point of seasons let me real with you. I, I never did because think about it like this warzone has seasons right but it's a free-to-play game you know not call of duty as a, a whole we're just talking warzone warzone is free to play that's why they have seasons you feel me so you can either buy the battle pass for set season and like i said it's, it's just like that but 2k is a pay to play game you have to call up at minimum 70 dollars to play so it's kind of hard to have a season in included with the season pass and all of that like it just doesn't make any sense to me why is it a free to why is it a pay to play game and you got to pay for more things inside the game i never got that after we cover all of that here are things i wish 2k can approve on right i believe the builder needs some work i i, I genuinely believe the builder needs some work that's that's probably the number one thing that needs work now i'm not saying the pie charts were good when I, before i say that i'm not saying the pie charts were, pie charts were good Personally, I hate the pie charts, but pie, the pie charts gave us a certain like build. You feel me? And what I mean, what I mean by that is more like they gave us a player based. You know, like you either could be two dimensional or one dimensional with a player. You could either be straight finishing, 
or straight shooting straight defensive straight whatever right and it gave you limits as well like you can't be good at everything 2k24 your my build could do everything I, i'm gonna say that my my build can do everything in the game and i don't like that it it, it doesn't create that much competition you feel me like we need to bring back the old 2k days where you play slashers straight shooters or the de uh defensive wings like you gotta like yeah it has to be like a certain versatility to it ah another main component is getting rid of the city get rid of it bring back the neighborhood i i don't bring back the neighborhood bro everybody agrees please bring back the neighborhood where where there's nothing much you can ask for but bringing back the neighborhood i promise you bro i promise you just bring back the neighborhood and we straight now here's the thing i'm not trying to like like how do i say this i'm not trying to like you know what i mean i'm not trying to hate you feel me like i don't have a problem with 2k dropping a pre-order that's not what i'm saying i just i'm saying like why would you drop a pre-order before the trailer it just makes sense like why would you do that it's just and i'm starting to see how money hungry 2k is 2k is a money hungry uh, uh company and they're not gonna listen to what we want they're not even though if if they just listen to the community i promise you they would generate a lot more sales uh, apparently they alert they're allergic to money so at the end of the day it's more like you guys not listening where this is my last 2k i'm buying if i got like i hope this video that i'm making is wrong i'm gonna I'm feel i hope this whole video is wrong right but if i'm right and 2k25 sucks then this is my last like this is my last year bro this is my last year this is uh this is my graduation year too so if if this sucks, I promise you this is the last 2K I'm playing. I don't care about none of the game. The last one. But I don't mean to hold y'all for too long, man. I just wanted to give you guys my little details. Also, with the channel, I feel like doing more of these uh, commentary ones, you know? Just stepping away from the gameplay a little bit, you know? And just giving more commentary. If you guys stayed to this point in the video, which I hope you guys did, please say it say it say it in the comments bro say it in the comments just be like yo just be like just say yo just say yo you feel me like or just like the video you know what i mean like do what you gotta do man without further ado i'm gonna get out of here please like share subscribe turn on post notification every time i post and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one man peace